Hello and welcome to episode 140 of Vokta Gaming. I am your host, the vocal terrorist, Jesse Rain, and we are here with game two in a best of three series between two of the top Zergs in the world right now. First up in the pink, same as last game, he is a French player. His name is Millennium Stefano. And opposing him today as yesterday, we have... One of the best South Korean players of all time in StarCraft 2. Winner of two, I believe, GSL Codes tournaments. And of course, one of the best ZVZers in the world, even right now. As Stefano confirms for us, his name is Nesty. So we have Stefano versus Nesty, game number two. Nesty is currently 1 nil up. And Stefano has got a lot of work to do. Now, oh ho ho, straight away some sneaky business. Nesty going for that super fast pull. So he is going to be putting on some aggression early. Now the question is, what does Stefano do? Now Stefano goes gas first, so it looks like he is going to go pull before hatchery. And get up speed as soon as possible. But this spawning pool is so, so quick at an ST. Could it catch Stefano unawares? Oh, this is exciting to me. Down goes the pool for Stefano on 14. And now we have drones in gas. So he's going for a speedling opening, whereas Nesty is going for very, very quick zerglings. Now he is getting no gas, so he's not getting the super quick uh, speed upgrade. The question is, are they for defense or not? We should say, okay, he is making six Zerglings. No, they are not for defense. I thought perhaps if he thought Stefano might be cheesy, he might make an early pull. Oh, he is going super in with this. Oh, Nesty. Nesty is spine crawlering. And Stefano doesn't see it. Oh, my word. Now he sees it. Now he sees it. All the drones get pulled. Take down the spine crawler, Stefano. That is all you have to do. We have Zerglings coming in now. But this is costing Stefano some mining time. He's getting out four Zerglings. But will it be enough? Forces that spine crawler to cancel. That is super good for him. But we have a ton of Zerglings heading in now from Nesty. Nesty is adding gas. He wants the speed. Speed will be in no way finished. For Stefano, and he has less Zerglings. Nest, he could do some real damage here. This all comes down to Micro. This is all about individual unit control. Two more Zerglings out for Stefano. Stefano is doing absolutely everything he can. Pulling drones, and now the Queen pops. Queen pops for Stefano, and Nest, he retreats. Stefano played that absolutely pitch perfectly. Oh, Stefano, that was so good. So now Stefano with the definite advantage. If we go to the unit counting station, we see he has one more drone. He has more Zerglings and he has speed on the way first. So this is huge for Stefano. Once speed hits, he may well have the ability to go in and do some damage of his own on the Zerglings of Nesty. He does have two queens. He's going to use them to block this ramp now. Along with the Zerglings and stop Stefano from getting in. Speed is still away from finishing. But a Baneling Nest. A Baneling Nest on the way. Perhaps a Baneling Bust coming from Stefano. No, he's going to go in with these Lings. Uh, maybe not the best choice. Given how that ramp is, uh, is walled off by the Queen and the Zerglings. So... We have Stefano expanding on the back of this. Stefano getting well ahead right now. Adding a Baneling Nest that's going to at least be for defense. We have Nesty now adding his own hatchery. But of course he is under pressure. Now if we take a look though, Nesty does have an increase in drones. It is, uh, it is very slight though. The difference is not particularly great. And Stefano will catch that up should he drone heavily once this second hatchery is finished. Of course, since this second hatchery will be finished before Nesty's. He has the chance to get out those extra units first. And now we have three Banelings on the way from Stefano. Where are they morphing? They must be morphing at home. Yep, they're morphing at home nice and safe. Just going to defend in case Nesty tries anything else tricksy. I like this from Stefano. He's playing very, very safe at this point. I'd perhaps have liked the spine crawler a bit further away from here. Either in this section here or even further out here to attack units as they come up the ramp. But that is fine. And now, ooh, Zerg missile attacks level 1 coming out of the evolution chamber. So it is going to be Hydras or Roaches for Stefano. 
Then the question is, ah, Nasty getting his Roach War on first and then having the Evo. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is interesting. Uh, has Stefano got a Roach War on hidden somewhere? Nope, here it comes now. Uh, is that a little bit late? Did he forget that? It seems weird to me to start getting the upgrade before you've even got any roaches on the field. But there we go. We'll see how well this times out. I don't actually know how long this takes. There's out of 160. The roach warrant is 55. No, so I suppose that with the build time of the roaches, you can just about hit them all at the same time. If you save up some lava, he should be okay. Let's take a quick look at the unit counting station. Hang on a second, because we have Zerglings running in, doing some damage to the ST, but more importantly, trying to scout, but they do not scout anything. All they scout is one baneling blowing up in their faces. Drone count still pretty even. Nasty pushing slightly ahead. But of course, we have roaches all the way for both players. Again, Stefano is going to be ahead though. Uh, Nasty may have more roaches. But with the plus one upgrade finishing sooner for Stefano, he will have a little bit of a timing where perhaps he can move out and do some real damage here. Now, both players adding a third hattery. Nesty's is, of course, a reaction to seeing Stefano's with this overlord. This one Zergling will do absolutely nothing to this. You literally have time to finish the hattery and then make a Zergling and kill it. Like, So that's doing absolutely nothing. And now eight roaches on the way. Well, we were looking at the account stage. We have four already out for Nesty. So adding to those four, that will be eight. But we have ten on the way now for Stefano. And Stefano will have plus one first. He has a few banelings with him. Is he going to push out? It looks like that may be what he's doing. Did he just kill his own unit or was that one of Nasty's? I did not catch the car of that. So we have the speedlings moving across the map first. They're going to dodge underneath his own overlord. Is he going for the third? Is he going to run straight up into the third? That is the question. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's going to pull back. He saw those roaches. He saw them. He did not want to get trapped in there. So nice moves from Stefano. Look at this splitting from these roaches. Uh, do not want to get just clumped up and surrounded or hit by bailing. Here we go though. Stefano is going fully in with this. He's getting a layer up back at home. So whatever happens, he will have the advantage. His roaches have plus one and Stefano's do not. Uh, and sorry, and Nesty's do not quite yet. So any damage he does now is absolutely fantastic. Getting so, so far ahead. Forcing Nesty to make ten more roaches. While well, he does nothing but drone up at home. Stefano getting so far ahead with this attack. So long as he pulls out at the right time, he doesn't continue to waste units. Kills a queen as well. Absolutely fantastic moves. Now Nesty will push him away. Nesty finally evicting Stefano from the front row. But the damage has been done at that time. Now look at this. Stefano finally has the drone advantage at one point in this map. And he has the lair going up at home before Nesty does. Stefano, Stefano's going to win a game on Vokta Gaming, guys. Guys, I'm so excited. We have a second Evo Chamber going up. We have plus two Zerg Missile Attacks as the upgrade for the Roaches. Oh, he's going to do so much damage. He's getting extra, extra gas. Absolutely everything. And now he's massing units again. Still adding ever more drones. The lair is on the way for Nesty, but it's so far behind. We have the Roach Movement Speed on the way for Stefano. We have the Armour upgrade coming for Nesty, but that's not going to matter because that will finish at about the same time as those Zerg missile attacks. It will finish just before it and then will be completely negated just a few in-game seconds later. We now have these Speedlings running in, catching a side of this third base. I mean, he definitely knows it's there anyway. But there are no hidden tech structures, nothing like that. Oh, Stefano adding a macro hatch in his base. He really wants to start hitting his unit production timings wonderfully. Meanwhile, Nest T is back at home. And uh, Nest T is just falling behind because his lair is so late. Making his lair interestingly out the natural. I do like that. It's often a lot easier to protect it, especially against things like Muters that could well come. Uh, it's such a strange matchup, ZVZ. Muters can happen or they can be skipped entirely. It, it's very, very... Uh, Difficult to predict. ZVZ is one of the most volatile matchups in the world. What? Nesty getting hydras um, and a macro hatch. Um, I, I don't like that. I'm sorry. I know Nesty's so good at ZVZ. Uh, we have Burrow on the way for Stefano, but we do have overseers out for Nesty. I don't like it. I don't like how the hydras. Eh. I mean, there's no muters on the way. Perhaps he thinks muters are on the way. But to be honest, Roaches pretty much stamp Hydras 
because their armor is so, so good. Now, plus one armor is finished for Ness T, but plus two missile attacks is about to finish for Stefano. And once that happens, Stefano is going to absolutely destroy everything here. Let's take a quick look at the unique station. We have 40 roaches versus 34 with better upgrades about to be done. Here we go. One more second. There it goes. Now Stefano has the advantage if he can just attack. Maybe he wants to wait for this armor to finish. No, he's going to push in into the main. Pushing into Spinecrawlers, killing one, then retreating again. Burrow is about to finish, and that will definitely give him an advantage. We do not have Burrow for Nesty, of course, but we do have an Overseer out, so he does have to be careful. He cannot just Burrow wherever he likes. And now splitting up his army, half in the main, half into this huge force of roaches. These roaches are getting right into the main. They see the Hydra Den. They see everything. Oh, my God. Stefano knows everything that's happening. And meanwhile, we have a huge roach on roach battle over in this corner. Plus one armor is done. Burrow is done for Stefano. But that doesn't matter because the Overseer is there. But he is churning through Nesty's units. Absolutely decimating him at this point. We have roaches over in the natural. Doing damage. Killing queens. Killing drones. Stefano doing so much with this attack. He's got the ground armor level 2 on the way as well. That is started. He retreats now from the Hydras. They cannot give much chase because... Nesty's creep runs out very shortly and they of course cannot run off creep. But Stefano is coming back in and he's making nothing but roaches now. He just wants to push. He wants to push and kill. If we take a look at his 25 roaches to 31 with 28 speedlings as well. We have 11 hydras. We have exactly the same amount of drones. So much lava for Stefano. More and more units being added all the time. We have another attack out in the middle of the map. Speedlings coming in now. Roach is doing tons of damage. Nesty is forced to retreat, trying to run back to his spine crawler. But he is losing units all the time. Stefano has the supply lead. Oh, this is absolutely tense. I have no idea right now who's going to take this. Stefano, once again, running into the natural with these roaches. In fact, running all the way into the main to do some damage onto these drones. We do not have the, uh, the glue reconstitution, I believe for uh, Nest T, so it looks to me like Stefano's roaches are faster. Stefano doing damage as well in the third base of Nest T. So much dying for Nest T, I, he cannot hold this for much longer. He finally clears his main of roaches. This is so, so close. Nest T supply is dropping all the time. Stefano just getting further and further ahead, putting so much pressure on with this attack. It is unbelievable. And now he just goes home to mass up his forces. More drones being transferred to the third. Will we see him add a fourth hatchery? It can be very hard to take a fourth base on this map. Uh, it's very hard to defend at any point. Nessie now is pushing out, but the supply is so different. What is that in? Holy crap, that is mostly drones though. So the armies are very similar. The Hydra there, if the Roaches can tank to save the Hydras, they may do just enough, but I don't think so. There's just too much from Stefano. And Stefano, of course, with more drones, is able to rebuild them that much quicker. Nest T is going to die here, or perhaps not. Ah, uh, more units coming down now from Nest T. He retreats into the spy crawler. Oh, this is so, so close. Oh, I have no idea what way this is going to go. Stefano is killing the last of the roaches, though. We have a few more being added by Nest T, but they are taking their time to get there. And Stefano has way more, so he's going to keep pushing out. He's nearly at double the supply of Nest T right now. Nest T is trying to re-drone, and you can't do that, because Stefano will get way ahead in units, and he will just push out. And he is going to kill Nest T right here, right now. Absolutely going to kill him. There's the GG from Nest T! Nest T GG's and Stefano takes game two. We are level 1-1 one, one at IPL. Oh, I'm so excited. Can you hear that? I love Stefano. I love it when non-Koreans win games. And I especially love it when they beat one of the best Zerg vs Zerg players in the world. I will be back tomorrow for the exciting conclusion to this best of three. I cannot wait. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again tomorrow. Have a very nice day.